This video is sponsored by Space Square. Now, for a limited time only, you can own your very own square of space. No longer is space the thing of science fiction movies. You can place it on a shelf, on a wall, and be the life and soul of the party. You can just stand and look at it, and if you're very lucky, it will look back. Hello, welcome to Dan Does. This is episode 13, unlucky for some, and I figured that episode 13 was about time that we were introduced Dan Doesn't, my counterpart. Um, there, there's me, there's Bill making stuff, and uh, although me and Bill are twins, Bill isn't Dan Doesn't's twin. I'm Dan Doesn't's twin. It's very complicated. It's what happens when you splice genomes and... You ever seen the film Twins? Anyway, um, let me introduce uh, Dan Doesn't. What, um, what are you up to today, uh, Dan Doesn't? Call him Dee Dee. What are you up to, Dee Dee? You're going to be doing some crafting. Ben. You got any projects? In the pipeline, DD. Yeah, as expected. Um, man, a few words is our DD. Dan doesn't. Uh, he wasn't born with that name, but somehow he adopted it. See, technically, Dan doesn't is a clone of me, whereas Bill making stuff is my twin. But you want to see Bill making stuff's uh, clone? Bill destroys stuff. Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Previously on Dan Does. So, just a few videos ago, I made a homemade warband, which was horror themed. These are the guys here. You've got the three little minions, the the two heavies, and the big brainy boss. And I've decided to add to the army with a um, flying troop design it now you'll see this uh, this is um real time this is how fast I draw look at me go for the record this is a rudimentary sketch I did this while working in the sweet shop that I work in uh, in between serving customers so you can understand my mood uh, but I'm quite happy with it this is kind of what the, the end result ends up being which is good, which is what planning is all about, right? You notice the mouth is left pretty bare and black because I didn't know what I was going to do with the mouth. I thought I'd leave that. Uh, I let the, the piece um, create itself. If you could think of anything more pretentious. Just doing the lines there. And there we have it, a flying body slash cosmic horror creature. Uh, that's the hard bit done. Of course I'm joking. This is the real work of course, and to help me through this project I have some psychic clay. See that floating there? As if held by string, but there is no string. You see no string, therefore it is magic. Starting the project with a cluster of balls. Gonna take out my pointy, rubbery, silicony thingy and blend all of those uh, balls together. No seams or cracks, it's one lovely blob. Uh, looks a bit like a chocolate raisin. Once that little piece is baked, I'm gonna take a length of uh, steel wire from the Wilco and uh, use it to spear the mother. Well, that worked better than expected. 
Next, take out a needle beak. I have probably named this tool something else in the past, but I don't like to watch my videos back. So, needle beak it is. I'm going to use this needle beak to bend the wire because it's quite stiff. It's still. You ever hear of Superman? They don't call him Man of Aluminium, do they? This is still wire, so I need to clamp it and then bend it. Make sure all the pressure's on the uh, on the needle beak, not on the bit of clay at the top. Spin it at the right velocity and it should turn into some floral wire or holiday wire. And I'm going to use this to uh, to decorate the, the chocolate raisin. Add a few veins and uh, hug the curves and the bumps of the chocolate raisin. Uh, let, let the bumps and the curves direct you, okay? Uh, you don't want to direct the wire. Let the uh, wire direct you. Um, like a, a stream running through a mountain, it will take the uh, path of least resistance, which is what you want to do here, no matter how blooming tricky it is. Seriously, this is probably the hardest bit of this build. But it looks good, it's worth it, so stick with it. I'm, I'm saying this as if you're making this thing at home, um, which would be flattery, but I don't imagine it's uh, likely. Um, people have, well, I mean, ones of people have asked me, do you script your videos? Uh, the answer is no. I'm literally recording this as I watch the video. So any old shit that comes out of my mouth, you're here. Um, key point, off camera I've coated the wires with super glue to hold them in place. Very important that otherwise you'll have to do this whole thing again. Oh, what's this? That was the psychic clay again. Animating. Hello. How you doing, little fella? Yeah? I didn't pay for sentience. Super Scorpio isn't cheap. Here is a bottle of Super Scorpio Bacon Bond that I will use to bond clay, but also uh, for texture. I use this a lot for texture. Stippling, um, stippling. First I'm going to use it to attach this clay to the steel wire because you absolutely need bacon bond if you're going to attach clay to steel wire. Steel wire is a motherfucker. Next, my favourite tool, the cavity stabber. Especially when it comes to small pieces like this. This tool is essential. I'm going to use this to add creases all along the uh, trunk. It looks like a trunk. Um, it also looks a bit like your dad's I've made lips for the trunk. Um, well, they're gums, technically, off camera. And uh, I'm going to take out a tiny ball stick and make four holes ready for four teeth, if I've got my maths right. Um, now, I'm going to use uh, some Fimo white translucent clay. Um, there's no point, really. It's just habit. Force a habit for me, because uh, we're going to paint over them, so the translucency means nothing. But Fimo has quite a bit of flexibility, so I suppose there's a benefit there. After a quick bake, the uh, crescent-shaped teeth are done. Now I've shaped them like this, twisted them into crescents uh, to get the curved fang look. Uh, you'll see how when you cut it in half, they look like curved fangs. And of course for this we will need the art shiv. And uh, when you cut the clay, try not to put as much pressure on it as I did, because I spent a good two hours looking for that tooth, and I had a pot full of them. But molar does demand that every tooth be accounted for and fed into his greedy gob. The creature thus far has been baked and uh, there he is. Ready for a little kissy poo? The oh, god damn it. No, you don't. Now I'm going to use this unfortunate piece of clay to give this creature some lips to make it just that little bit more kissable. And make sure that those lips are textured and chapped so they suit the rest of the trunk type thing. So it's all one piece. And once that's done and baked, it's time to add a few uh, small details. 
starting with these five tiny balls of clay. Two of the little balls will be stumps for wings and the other three will be warts, just randomly placed. Oh, what's this now? Hey! Don't know! You! Outside! Naughty! 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 Usually I would not condone hitting clay, but sometimes they have to be taught. They just do not learn. Luckily, this uh, lump of clay did poop up some cosplay, which is actually very handy. Let me just clean that up. Firstly, I use the cosplay to make this uh, dangly piece of neck skin for the uh, for the flying creature. Give that a little wobble there. Couldn't resist. And then I use it to make a long tongue um, that will be flexible. It's, it's on a piece of wire, a bit of floral wire there, so it will be flexible once it's baked fully, being cosplay. That it is. And then I'm going to use it to make wings. Two wings. Now, um, you'll see the process of making these wings. I don't need to explain it to you. You can see it with your eyes. Anyway, what I was going to say is... I forgot. I'm going to edit this bit out. I've just remembered. Technically, these things aren't wings that I'm making now. These are flappy claws, I suppose you could say, because the bulbous shape on the top of this creature is filled with some kind of gas that makes it float. And these flappy arms um, direct it, uh, but are mainly used to uh, swoop and stab. All that kind of stuff. Um, that's kind of lore, isn't it, I suppose? I, d I do need some lore. If I'm going to make a whole army, I need to get some lore going. And a perfect place to get that lore going would be over on the Patreon, where my lovely patrons have helped support me in my YouTube journey, and I'm ever so grateful. And they're all coming round for Christmas dinner. Thank you so much, everybody. If you'd like to join Patreon and help support me and keep this channel going, then please, the link is in the info. Thank you very much. These two balls here I'm going to use uh, on the ends of the wings. They're not wings, the stabby things. Uh, I'm going to attach some Fimo claws using the same teeth that I used earlier, the spares. I'm going to take them out of uh, Molar's mouth. He's not going to be pleased. And once they're attached, uh, I'm going to stipple some Super Sculpey Bacon and Bond. Not Bacon Bond, as I often say. Bacon Bond. Mm. Bake and Bond to the back of the wing to give it some texture. And uh, trust me, when it's baked, it's great. Hides all fingerprints, anything like that. You can hide a, a multitude of mistakes with Super Sculpey Bacon Bond. That's one wing done, uh, and while I make the other, I just want to take a quick moment to thank the patrons. I just want to take a quick moment of your time to thank all of the patrons, starting with the top tier, Gemma Ingram, Dave Birdsall, Ed Trotz, Jake Langford, Miranda Stone, and Shy Talk. And uh, then we've got the Do Gooders tier, Andy Scott, Anthony Roberts, Benedict Mueller, Brando B. Cathal Grant. Chris Gilliard, Demon Biddenhand, Gert Gervens, Goat Harasser, Carl Deacon, Krista, Larry, Mary Peterson, Mike Pitt, Positive Puppet, Rabies of Lard, Rich Miles, Richard Davidson, Stevie Obi-Wan, Bairden, Larry Kenobi, Stuart Hashem, and uh, Want Pants too. And a big thank you to the, uh, the rest of you patrons there. You really are the wind beneath my wings. And if you'd like to help out, then the, uh, the information is in the information funnily enough enjoy the rest of the video thank you bye seriously thank you very much patrons you are the reason i have managed to maintain my flabby dad bod now this thing is pretty much complete uh, except it needs a stand so i'm going to take a drill and give it a big old butthole That was an overly long drilling sequence. Anyway, um, a while back I bought a pack of acrylic lollipop sticks from Amazon. It was just a couple of pounds, or a million dollars to the rest of the world. And uh, you get about 50, maybe 100, and they're lasting me forever. And I'm going to use this um, to give the illusion of flight. 
with the uh, the monster fly monstery thingy. Go on, give us a little twirl. Oh, he's back again. Uh, terrible editing, Dan. But this was not thought through at all. Anyway, onto the painting process. Starting off with a little undercoat of dark flesh tone, which is what I like to use for all of these monsters. Dark flesh tone's a good base for me. And the bulk of the painting will be done with these four colours. Uh, medium grey, though it looks more beige. Uh, beige red. Good old, old rose. And carmine red. I'm going to mix and match these uh, to suit the, the beast. Now, the painting is um, really down to the person's skill. So I don't really think there's much to explain here. I think we should just have a little chat while this, this thing unfolds. Now, I bet that you um, avid YouTube watchers are sick and tired of YouTubers um, preaching the words like, comment, subscribe. And I don't blame you, I feel exactly the same way, so I've come up with an idea. And the idea is, like and subscribe. I've invented a word, see? Saves, saves a few syllables. You, you know what it means. Like and subscribe. It's like, comment, subscribe, but in one word. Now, from, from henceforth, like and subscribe is in the... Uh, the lexicon. Seriously, thank you. If you would like and subscribe, I would uh, be incredibly grateful. This is UV resin. I um, used the UV resin off camera to save it as a little treat for the showcase at the end. And uh, next, I'm going to decorate the base, the same as I've done all the other bases for these. Uh, this war band in the last video, very much a desert theme, with a few sandy rocks and uh, dead grass tufts. Gotta be done, hasn't it? And it seems I've filmed the entire process. Uh, so we're going to watch the entire thing. I mean, you could always drop out. I'd appreciate if you stay to the end. Um, thank you for waiting. So, uh, how's your January been? Uh, I only discovered recently that January is a very slow month for YouTube. A lot of people take January off. Um, but not me. I released a video. I mean, you can go back and have a look if you like. But I mean, less about me, more about you. What, what have you been up to? You got the uh, the January blues yet? I keep, I've said January too much. I'm sure I'm missing a syllable out. I don't think I'm saying January right. January. January. You are bored of all your Christmas presents? Built all your, your Lego sets? Painted your miniatures. I mean, I got a lot of Lord of the Rings, um, Middle Earth, Battle of Middle Earth miniatures. Big Lord of the Rings fan, me. Um, managed to paint one troll. That's what it's like making videos for YouTube. You don't get time to do your own things. Uh, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I mean, I would change it for a more successful YouTube career. And people say I'm not a good listener. Anyway, there he is. There's the flying monstery thingy that is yet to be named Done. And my only regret is that I did not make three of them. Oh wait, I did. Now, to see these in all of their splendour, please hang around for the showcase. I'd just like to thank everybody for watching. Thank you so much. I love you all. Uh, platonically. Thank you very much for watching the episode of oh, shot there. Thank you very much for watching the episode. Um, I'll add these, these. 
these three wingy winged things add these three winged things to the the rest of the army I will show a quick shot of that actually I'll show them all together Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, then there is Patreon. Uh, there is a link in the uh, in the info there, and uh, you could uh, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it sort of defeats the purpose of making up the word like and subscribe if I'm going to say like, comment, su subscribe afterwards. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.